Psalm 3, verse number 4. I cried to the Lord with my voice, and he heard me out of his holy hill, Selah. So, David knew what to do when he was in trouble. People are saying God has abandoned him. But he says, when all of this was going on, I cried to the Lord with my voice. When we are surrounded by enemies on every side, we have to learn to turn our attention to God. And David uses the word cried. The word cried there means a deep, intense, and passionate expression through his voice. So this is not something he's doing in his head. He's not internalizing his pain, but he pours it out with his voice. So he cries to God. He makes a loud sound to God. And probably it wasn't even a sound of prayer. It was a sound of pain where he cries to God and he says, God, look at what I'm going through. It is a, it's intense. It's not a ritual prayer. It's not a quiet prayer. This is a very passionate prayer. It's heartfelt. And David says, I cry to the Lord with my voice. Not just my spirit, my, but my voice also expressed what I am feeling. There are times when we're going through difficulty and your prayer just becomes an outburst uh, and, and a cry to the Lord. And there is a place for crying out in intensity to God. And there is also a time for praying quietly. Even Jesus had moments when he cried to God and then uh, the moments when he prayed very quietly. There are seasons and different ways of expressing our prayer to God. So when your enemies surround you, surround the throne of God with your prayer. They are around you. You to go around the throne of God with prayer. And many times when we see people turn against us, uh, on every side, we become disoriented. We don't even know where to turn. Do we, should, do we go to the left? Do we go to the right? Do we tell everybody about our problem? Do we cry to our friends? But David knew where to go when he was in trouble. And that was his secret. And throughout the Psalms, you see that David shows this attitude of always going to the presence of God, going to the tabernacle of the Lord, uh, just, just waiting on the Lord when he was in trouble. Because he knew that in as much as people around him could help him, his greatest help would come from God. And so he always surrounded the presence of God, the throne of God, with his prayer, with his cry, and directed his anxiety to God. So, in verse 4, we see the second sailor. And David says, I cried to the Lord, and the Lord had me out of his holy hill. Ah, oh, sailor. In other words, uh, there are times that we cry to God with our pain, and, and, and then we have peace. But also there are times when God hears us, and because he hears us, it gives us rest for our soul. Sailor. So God hears us and all the anxiety goes down. It doesn't mean necessarily that the problem has been solved, but just the assurance of knowing God has heard my prayer. How do we know that God has heard our prayer? Because we prayed by faith. We prayed according to his will and we prayed in the name of Jesus. And when we pray by faith, we pray according to the written word of God, the will of God, and we pray in the name of Jesus, we know God has heard us. And after we have come out of prayer, we should have Selah. The peace of God which passes all understanding keeps our hearts and gives us rest. Don't go out of prayer after you've cried to the Lord, you, you, you've told the Lord all about our problem, and you're still crying to other people, and you're crying to everybody, uh, there's no Selah. But after we've cried to the Lord, and God has heard us, he gives us sailor, he gives us peace. May the Lord give you peace in every anxious moment of your life. Let us pray. Say with me, Heavenly Father, I lift up my heart and voice to you today. Thank you 
for hearing the voice of my supplication. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. The Lord heard us out of his holy hill, Selah. I am Pastor Mensah Otabel. Shalom, peace, and life to you.